given the distance of focus from dielectric as 40 mm and the eccentricity as 1.5 also draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve so this is a focus from the dielectric is given as 40 mm 40 mm means 4 cm and the eccentricity as 1.5 is not given in terms of a fraction so for that you have to convert this 1.5 into fractional term that it will be you can check it using protector so 1.5 you have to get okay let me put it as 3 by 2 3 divided by 2 shall we worked out 3 divided by 2 will be 1.5 okay so 1.5 shall be written as 3 by 2 in fractional form okay so in the side of a drawing sheet work out a simple calculation where eccentricity indicated by small letter e is equal to 3 by 2 1.5 is given in the question that can be written as 3 by 2 in fractional form so add the numerator and denominator we obtain as five parts again e eccentricity e is equal to numerator 3 is mentioned so three parts denominator 2 is mentioned so two parts is equal to vf by vo the ratio where v stands for vertex f stands for fixed point called focus and o stands for origin of hyperbola okay in the diagram we have to mark v f o understand you see roll on scale first you draw one vertical line of any suitable length marked a and b is called as a fixed vertical line dielectric so locate any point on this vertical line marked as o turn your roll on scale there is one protractor arrangement given on this this 90 degree vertical line should coincide with this dielectric at point o draw one horizontal line like this this forms the axis of hyperbola axis a x i s so that this angle will be 90 degree that is a concept so now this is a focus from the dielectric is given as 40 mm 40 mm from point o locate one point at 4 cm 4 4 cm corresponds to 40 mm 40 small divisions makes 4 cm is given as a question this is a focus from the dielectric is 40 mm let us dimension this parallel to dielectric move your scale draw one extension line below point f okay next parallel to axis of hyperbola draw one dimension line somewhere below your axis okay put it to narrow arrow head shade the arrow head and you can write the distance of is take given as 40 mm center of the line above the line don't write mm number alone is sufficient now i going to divide this of into total number of parts is five parts based on adding the numerator and denominator so now we draw one inclined line from point o at any angle the length of the inclined line is chosen in such a way that it is divisible easily divisible by 5 for example if i take 50 mm inclined line length means 50 divided by total number of parts five parts so each segment will be 10 10 mm 10 mm means 1 uh, cm 1 cm like that you mark on this inclined line five times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 Join five and point F with the same setting. Just you roll your scale so that you can draw parallel lines, inclined parallel lines with the same with this procedure. With the same setting, you have to do it. Okay. Now again, uh, rename it as one, two, three, four, five. Fifth point is F stands for focus. Now by this method, the void of has been divided into five equal parts. So come to the simple calculation. vf in the numerator corresponds to three parts and vo in the denominator that corresponds to two parts now i going to mark v stands for vertex at the point 2 okay so that you count the number of parts between v and f 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 three parts 
and vo in the denominator corresponds to two parts 0 to 1 1 to 2 like that you have to mark the point v based on the eccentricity value given in the question so uh, at the point v draw one vertical line parallel to directrix so keep the edge of your scale over the directrix move it at point v draw one vertical line okay now take your compass v as center and vf as radius draw an arc upward like this this arc where it intersects with the vertical line passing through point v shall be marked as say one letter z join o z and extend the line further join o z and extend the line further okay what we followed is step 1 in step 2 i going to draw several vertical lines anywhere this vertical lines shall be drawn after point v for example 3 to 4 in between i going to draw one vertical line parallel to directrix move your scale parallel to directrix between 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 the first vertical line is drawn randomly you can draw at anywhere between 3 to 4 or 2 to 3 4 to 5 like that okay between 3 and 4 i have drawn the first vertical line let this vertical line where it intersects with the axis is at here this point shall be marked as say 1 understand this vertical line where it intersects with o is at line at here shall be marked as say 1 dash it's a first vertical line draw second vertical line with uniform gap or non uniform gap also after f well, let me draw the second vertical line at here okay this point is 2 this point will be 2 dash similarly you draw some 6 or 7 vertical lines third vertical line with uniform gap or non uniform gap also you can draw this vertical lines so that your answer will not uh, change okay between 4 and 5 let me draw one more vertical line somewhere at here okay let it be already numbered this will be second vertical line this is third vertical line fourth vertical line fifth vertical line sixth vertical line this vertical lines where it intersect the boy z line is at here this is 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash so i have drawn six vertical lines so now take the distance vertical distance one one dash distance in your compass keeping f as center fixed point the focus will be center for cutting the arcs f as center cut the arc on the first vertical line above the axis and below the axis so extend this line below the axis also so that your arc and vertical line should uh, intersect okay let this point be marked as p1 this will be p1 dash similarly take two two dash vertical distance in your compass the same process is repeated f as center cut your arc on the second vertical line upon below the axis make the line intersect with the arc extend the line vertical line this will be p2 below the axis will be p2 dash similarly take 3 3 dash distance vertical distance in your compass f as center cut your arc on the third vertical line 4 4 dash vertical distance is taken as a compass f as center cut your arc on the fourth vertical line upon below the axis 5 5 five dash vertical distance is taken as a compass f as center cut your arc on the fifth vertical line 6 6 dash vertical distance is taken as a compass f as center cut your arc on the sixth vertical line above and below the axis okay let these points be marked as this is p3 p4 p5 p6 and below the axis this will be p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash okay draw a smooth curve passing through these obtained points starting from v v with p1 first you draw slightly later we can make it dark suppose if your curve goes wrong means you can redraw it by erasing that segment of that part okay 
So here it is not goes correct. You can erase that part and correct. Don't paint the curve. And below the axis also you can draw join V with P1 dash. Should have diverge. The curve should diverge. Your hand should bend. Don't turn your drawing sheet or drawing board. Okay, and now you can make it dark by using H or HB pencil it appears to be dark. What is asked in the question is to draw hyperbola. Let me use a different color. You should have be smooth curve. Don't paint the curve. It should be single stroke or single pass. Other lines, vertical lines, arc, dielectric, axis shall be drawn by using 2H pencil. The final answer is hyperbola is to be highlighted by using H or HB pencil. Next, what is asked in the question to draw tangent at a normal at any point on the curve? Let me mark this as point P. For this located point P on this curve, I'm going to draw tangent at a normal. Join P and focus F. Join PF. Okay, this is the shorter edge of your scale, free and scale, coincides with the PF line. The corner of your scale, scale must coincide with the located point, what is called as F point. Keep your scale like this, okay. Using the longer edge, this is the longer edge of your scale, draw a line like this, perpendicular to PF. This line where it intersects with the directrix, AB line, that point is at here, shall be marked as say T. Join TP and extend the line further. This forms a tangent. T, T dash is a tangent. Okay, now we are going to draw normal. Normal normal will be perpendicular to T, T dash. Keep the shorter edge over the line T, T dash at a located point P as corner of your scale. This corner of your scale should coincide with the located point P. Using the longer edge, draw a line like this and extend the line other side of point P. This forms a normal marked as N, N dash. The angle between tangent T, T dash and N, N dash normal will be 90 degree that you can check it using protector. And the right side lower part of a diagram at somewhere at here, draw two guidelines. Right side lower part of a diagram, draw two guidelines parallel to axis. Parallel means equal gap, leaving equal gap. Draw two guidelines with the 4 mm or 5 mm gap between two guidelines for a uniform height of letters. Write a statement all dimensions. Or in mm. Mm alone you can write it by small letter. Millimeter, millimeter is a unit followed. This 40 in terms of millimeter that it uh, represents. So like that you practice and score better marks in the university examinations. And thanks for listening. Yes.